news today, the California Public Utilities Commission will release a proposed decision about requested PG&E rate hikes swollen by PG&E's decision to bury thousands of miles of power lines to avoid wildfires in high-risk areas. KTVU's Tom Vakar joining us with consumer reaction to the hefty hikes the utility says it must make. Tom. Hefty indeed. Another PG&E rate hike to ultimately bury 10,000 miles of high fire risk power lines is in the offing and it's a whopper. The decision that the PUC is about to make on PG&E could raise your monthly bills by $50 or more a month. Over the lifetime of the decision, up to 20 years, Turn says each customer share would be about $18,000. We already pay for it. They want to raise more on it? Come on now, man. People out here struggling with bills. Makes no sense. To save ratepayers money, some utilities have taken to leaving the lines up in the air, but replacing those lines and these burnable poles with what's called an insulated system. The insulated system uses layers of complex non-conducting material mounted on steel or concrete poles for more fire resistance, minimizing falling lines and arcing. It's always good to empower people to make that decision for themselves, to have it insulated, but to have PG&E make that decision for us and, you know, increasing it uh, as up to $50 a month, uh, you know, it doesn't really sit well with anybody. I think that they should be um, making sure that they look into all different alternatives before making such a drastic decision that affects, you know, our lives. In a decade, Turn says Southern California Edison has already put in 5,000 miles of insulated power lines sitting atop those fire-resistant poles. So far, PG&E has buried just 300 miles of power lines at a cost of about $3 million a mile. The insulating of those lines is way better for our consumers. It's way better for wildfire safety. And it's just going to be done faster and cheaper. Now, the public can have a huge influence on all of this. Uh, because uh, they can speak about it in the next 30 uh, days or so, but only if done by large numbers of people who are making calls and sending messages not only to the CPUC, but to assembly persons, senators, and the governor. All PG&E would say is that it believes these costs are way overstated and that undergrounding lines is far more effective and safer than insulated systems. As usual, the CPUC said nothing. Tom Vakar, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Tom, thank you.